Um, this video is mainly about doing Q and A. Um, I thought I would do one, probably do it at least like once a week. Like I said, if y'all got any questions, just post them on my Facebook page, on my Twitter page, ArcharJ2000, or just put them on WFSL page on YouTube or any of the groups that I'm in. So, let's get started with um, some questions. Um, questions from... A person from Deshaun's Two Cents group, his name is Brent. He says, "If Daniel is stripped and is looking that he will, who's next? Who's the next guy? Wow, who will be the next guy? This is going to be interesting to who they think will be the next guy would be. So, because right now who they look like they're putting in so far, it could be anybody." Like, they, if they want to make history, they'll do, like, Sheamus holding the U.S. title and holding both the belts, if they want to do it that way. Or Cesaro, which he is so over, and Bray Wyatt is so over as well. So, and plus, Brett has a two-part question. Um, if they put Cena in the ladder match in his hometown, does that lock him in to win, or... Of uh, he's in it. Truthfully, they could go that route if they want, if they really desperately needed somebody to be their money maker. So, and that would be him. But I don't I don't think they want to piss everybody off. Like I'm a Cena fan, but I I don't want to see him getting the belt at Money in the Bank maybe next year or something like that. Just not this year. So, my opinion, I think the next person who probably would be the next big big man would be either between Cesaro, maybe Sheamus, or Bray Wyatt. I think it's going to be between those three. If Bray Wyatt gets put into the, um, into the match and have like a qualifying match, but we'll see. Um, Rat Hartman, also a member of... Deshaun's two cents says, "Do you think they'll add another guy to the shield? If so who? Ooh, if they decide to add another guy, it probably would end up being somebody from NXT. But um, it's kind of like crazy choices on who will they go for for NXT. Um, or they could just wait a while and maybe Kevin Steen will be one." Since they recently signed him, maybe they'll push him up too quick. Um, I would say anybody from NXT can fit that um, third spot if they want to like change their gimmicks what they are now or something like that. So could be anybody from NXT, I would say. But honestly, I think they're good with um, Roman Reigns and <clears throat> Dean Ambrose. I was going to say that. <laughs> okay. This is from Chantel. She's like, my son would like to know, have you taken a pick with the Hardy Boys and when is the next pay-per-view of TNA? Um, yes, I have. Well, not like Jeff Hardy personally, but I was the one that was taking a picture of Jeff Hardy, but... Matt Hardy, yes. Not Jeff. So he's got to be the one that I got to get. Hey, it's still Jeff Hardy. I don't care. <laughs> Unless they somehow decide to Jeff Hardy get off his butt and decide to just do like indie bookings, he would be a hard one to get. As for the next pay per view, they got Slam Anniversary. I think it's this coming Sunday, the 15th. So, and I think they got like a few matches lined up. Um, I know they're gonna probably gonna change the main event because the MVP's injury. So Eric Young will probably end up facing somebody else. Don't know who yet. But they got an interesting match in Shimon Joe and Bobby Lashley. I think that'll be one of the interesting ones that probably be 
maybe match of the night. I'm um, EC3, Bully Ray. And I think they got one. I think they got one more. I think probably Kenny King and Austin Aries, but I'm not sure. So their pay per view will be this coming Sunday. Live on pay per view. Let's see what else. Brittany says, Why is Daniel Bryan so popular? I don't get it. If you followed this man's career through thick and thin ever since. He got trained by Shawn Michaels, and I know he was trained by a few other people too, but from WWE, then went down to Ring of Honor, wrestled in Dragon Gate, then came to the WWE. And everybody know how Ring of Honor is. It's like fast-paced action type of wrestling. And he has that, and he's shown that he has that as well. It's just everybody fell in love with the guy ever since they seen him in the indie circuit. And I think it's like you can't hate you can't hate the man. Even if you wanted to, you just can't. And there are like some people that you know that probably be a little bit like me, like like more wrestling and less entertainment. So although Daniel Bryan would give you both but it's more of a wrestling thing for Daniel Bryan than like, you know, entertainment. And I know he's like short, maybe like five foot eight, five nine and stuff, but and it also shows like anybody, cause you know Vince McMahon likes the six foot built guys to be the um, top guy. It just shows like with CM Punk, um, Shawn Michaels, who else? Um, I already said CM Punk. I know that. Um, well, Randy Orton, because he was like kind of a... He probably had the hype, but he wasn't like built-built. And although Triple H had to buff himself up. But just overall, it just proves that you don't have to be Vince McMahon's mold of how a champion should be you just gotta do these things like buy his merchandise cheer for him every time he's at a show go to his meet and greets or whatever appearances he makes you do all three and whatever wrestler you like if you do all three they will get that push like Daniel Bryan is so for y'all just remember that and Remember y'all did that to Zack Ryder? First y'all pushed him up to the moon when he came up with his videos and stuff. Buying his merchandise and go to his meet and greet appearance. But then... And don't forget, he also had, um, sorry to interrupt you, he also had his, um, tailgate parties, the WWE events, remember? That's Ted DiBiase. Is that Ted? Yep. Same issue with Ted as well. Put the two together here on this one. <laughs> right. So if y'all do those three things that I mentioned, believe me, the superstar you will want to have the world championship, they will listen. Although they might not like it, but they will listen. That's what happened with Daniel Bryan. They could see the crowd getting more and more behind him, more and more behind him, more and more behind him. And it was like, okay, the best way to turn him into a huge face is to have people in the company become big heels, like Triple H and all that lot, and fight against it and really build somebody up. But you, as you said, you have to do that with so many other wrestlers as well. If you right. want Wade Barrett up there, people have done, shown that they want him further up. So when they did... The uh, bad news Barrett. Yeah, people and it, loved it. Yeah, people and it really worked. Hate it. People booed him, but that's the other thing. If you really hate someone, boo the shit out of them too. It works both ways. Right, especially if this person is a heel. Yeah, you boo the hell out of them. You don't cheer them. They're just like thinking them that. Oh God, we're gonna turn them face. Then. Well, I'll, so I'll say this: I will actually cheer for some heels because then that also has that. Um, animosity that gets going where you get the going back to the whole Cena thing where you get the 
let's go Cena, Cena, such thing. And you want that at times with other people. Like the Shield weren't automatically these really wonderful people where everybody liked. People hated the Shield. It was a slow turn and, you know. Yeah, but you know there are fans that like liked them wherever they thinking like heels are cool and stuff like that. But my thing is if you're behind a wrestler, be behind that wrestler whether they're heel or face. Right. Just support them either way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um y'all got more questions? Just I put one on the page. I might have page. wait, I might have to refresh it. Okay, I guess we got one more, so hold on. Just wait for it to load up. Hope it's still okay. Still recording good. Um, another question. Um, who is your biggest inspiration in wrestling? Oh wow. My biggest inspiration, um, like back then it was like, I um, was a kid, like, I liked the faces and the heels, I wasn't like, like booing them, it just like, I give them no reaction, cause they were being healed, cause like, you a kid, like, you love your heroes, and that kid in me is still there as this day, oh, shit. hey, but um, God, biggest inspirations. No, let's Well, I would have to add a few wrestlers that were inspiration. Hulk Hogan would be one. Um, Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior. And Shawn Michaels was another one. Stone Cold, The Rock. Then, like, after most of them left and they would start... I would say 2002, 2003 was like very close to his dying period with me. Um, but if it wasn't for a certain wrestler, John Cena, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have met most of the people that I know as wrestling fans today. And WFSO would not be created if it wasn't for him, because it was. No, seriously, because... <laughs> I'm just thinking, we've already got a bunch of haters, now we've given them Cena to hate even more. <laughs> right, but I'm sorry, but wherever oh, y'all like... I agree with you. Wherever y'all like it or not, he is an inspiration. And he has been, ever since he stepped in the scene day one. It was like, this dude was going to be something, and look at him now. Look I was right. Now. Look <laughs> at him now. He's making tapes for... Well, just say you make millions and millions a year, you'd be happy at where you at. Uh -huh. Well, don't care what anybody says. Whether y'all think he's kiss ass or or he doesn't, he's at a good position in his career and that everybody thing, wants. Well, the other thing I think people also forget as well is that. He is the biggest promoter of pushing other wrestlers. Look with yes. him with Daniel Bryan. He's an instrumental in the reason why Daniel Bryan is so big right now. Uh huh. Because Cena's not afraid to lose to people. He lost to Bray Wyatt. He's lost to everyone. CM Punk. Everyone. Yes, he has. He's not. He's not one of these ones who's like, oh, you're making this. I have to win. He's like, okay, let's. What he really is. What's best for the company? Exactly. And he, you know, and he's made no bones about it. He will do what he has to for WWE to make sure that it stays up there and to make sure that other wrestlers are recognized and you know what I mean? That people are okay, this is a good deal. This you know, let's push Danny Bryant, let's push um CM Punk, let's push the Wyatt family. Look what he did went through with the Shield as well. Let's push them. Everyone. He's he sacrifices, and that's the other thing is, he, when the people do the let's go see the Cena sucks chance, he loves it. He's, at the end of the day, he's done his job. 
He's made people love him, and he's made people hate him. And that's a sign of a good wrestler. Exactly. As I said, I don't particularly like how WWE treats him and how they've made his character kind of a joke almost in regards to the whole, you know, glow-in-the-dark T-shirts and all. I, you know, I don't like that at all. But I do respect what he does for the business, what he does for other wrestlers, what he does outside of WWE, like with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and his supporting of the troops and everything. That I do respect and like him for. I just don't like his character. And I, I've not been backwards about that. Right, so, right. I can understand what some of them don't like his character, but it's like he's being himself. It's just like, well, if you was um, in the business and you were trying to be yourself, you wouldn't be liked. But um, just the point is, just don't judge nobody because you don't like this character. Like, know the business first before you jump to any conclusions about a person. That's just my opinion on that. Again, that's all with the Q&A. Um, I thought it went a little bit longer than it should. Like I said, send me questions through my Facebook page or my Twitter page rtrailj2000 or any WFSO page on YouTube and yep you can put questions on here on YouTube and I will read them as well so if there's a lot of the questions coming in I will do them as soon as I can if it's not it's just gonna be like a once a week thing so until then, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube videos and subscribe to us on YouTube. And check out our website, WrestlingFanSpeakOut.com and also WrestlingFanSpeakOut.WeBelieve.com.